Matrix and Roadshow fans, we are back with another video. We're going to be talking about 007, James Bond. Now, you guys know that Daniel Craig's No Time to Die was his last outing as James Bond. And Barbara Broccoli, who pretty much controls uh, James Bond, they are on the hunt for the next James Bond. And for the past couple of years or so, the name of Idris Elba has been in the conversation to become the next James Bond. Now, Idris Elba is a black man and he's also British. And Barbara Broccoli has been on record that uh, James Bond can be any color, but that the actor should actually be British. So Idris Elba is definitely going to be in that conversation. And it kind of got revitalized here lately because there was an interview with her and, uh, this is what came out. James Bond producers say Idris Elba is part of the conversation to be the next 007. Now, I have not seen No Time to Die, but I'm pretty sure, you know, there's going to be a reboot of the franchise because we do know at the end of um, No Time to Die, they killed off James Bond. And if I'm not mistaken, that was the first movie where they actually ended up killing off James Bond. But that's Idris Elba there. I think he's a fantastic actor. I really do. But I also don't want to see him as James Bond. I don't want to see him as James Bond. To me, James Bond has a certain kind of look. OK, now I believe that if Idris Elba does get the role, I do believe he will be overshadowed by the identity politics that will follow. And it will be created by the woke mob and uh, the media. We saw something similar with uh, Black Panther. Now, Black Panther, I thought was a very good movie. I absolutely love Black Panther. But all of the talking points had nothing to do with how good the movie was. It was about you have a predominantly black cast in this movie. That was the talking point. Nobody cared about how good the movie was in terms of the acting, the writing, all of that. It was nothing but identity politics. And I believe, you know, that Black Panther deserved better than that. I really do believe it. Race shouldn't even, even come into play because the media narrative, this was the first uh, black action movie of all time. When we know that was a lie. Spawn existed. Uh, Wesley Snipes is um, Blade. He existed, too. That's from, both of those are from the 90s. And there's been other ones, too. But let's move on. The producers of James Bond have said British actor Idris Elba is part of the conversation to be the next 007. Barbara Broccoli with her brother, uh, Michael G. Wilson, have produced the last nine Bond films, including Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Skyfall and Spectre. One of the most sought after and iconic roles in cinema is now back, back up, back up grabs uh, following the. Um, Daniel Craig's final outing as 007 in the most recent Bond movie, No Time to Die. Elba, who stars in the crime uh, drama Luther, I actually haven't seen it. If you guys have seen it, let me know how it is. I may check it out. Um, it's often tipped as one of the leading candidates to take over. The 49-year-old has appeared in several Hollywood movies, including Concrete, uh, Cowboy, Pacific Rim, and Thor Ragnarok. Now, he's 49 years old. That's actually kind of old to start off as Bond. Now, I believe that uh, Daniel Craig is like 51 now and he's done. He started in his late 30s. Uh, Pierce Bronson also, I believe he was somewhere around close to 40 when he started. But if uh, Idris Elba starts at 49, that's kind of old there, even though he looks fantastic. He's in fantastic shape. Uh, speaking to Deadline's uh, Crew Call podcast, Broccoli addressed the speculation over who will play Bond after she was told a lot of fans want to see Idris Elba in a tuxedo. Broccoli 61 said, well, we know Idris, we're friends with him, and he's a magnificent actor. And, you know, it's part of, it's been part of the conversation, but it's always difficult to have the conversation when you have someone in the seat. I think we have decided that until no time to deny has had his run and Daniel has been able to, well, We've all been able to set savor, uh, reap the benefits of Daniel's wonderful tenure. We're not going to think about it or talk about anybody else, actors to play the role or storylines. We just 
want to live in the moment. So he's in the conversation, but nothing is uh, set in, uh, in concrete at all. Um, but there is some other names in the midst, I believe here. And it says here, other after, actors tip to be the net spawn include Tom Hardy, Richard Madden, and Henry Cavill. Now, I would actually like to see Henry Cavill as the next James Bond. He's around that that perfect age. He's in his uh, late 30s. If I'm not mistaken, I believe uh, Henry Cavill is 37. So that's a good starting point for him to play Bond. He has the look of James Bond. Tom Hardy, even he, as a white man to me, he doesn't look like James Bond. But neither did Daniel Craig to me. Daniel Craig doesn't look like James Bond to me at all. So no disrespect to uh, Idris Elba um, at all. Actually, Daniel Craig is 53. I think I said he was 51, but he's 53. No disrespect to Idris Elba. None whatsoever. He is fantastic. Could he play Bond? Yes, he could. He could do a really, really good job at it, but he doesn't have the look of Bond. And I believe, you know, he should have the look of Bond. It's just like somebody playing uh, Superman, uh, Kal-El. To me, you have to have the look in addition to the acting abilities. Now, we know that Nicolas Cage was actually going to play um, Superman in the 1990s. He has he doesn't have the look whatsoever to play Superman. Certain roles, I believe you need to have a certain look. And he doesn't look like Kal-El. And I remember there was some test footage uh, photos out of Nicolas Cage as Superman. It looked terrible. I believe he had long hair. And he just doesn't have the look. That's why I think Henry Cavill works uh, well as Superman. He actually has the look. And Christopher Reeve as Superman was perfect. He had the look and he had the acting ability um, at that. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of Idris Elba being in the conversation to be the next James Bond? No word on when the next Bond movie is going to come out. But I think even if he gets to roll It'll be overshadowed by identity politics. And that's very unfortunate because he is a very, very good actor. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this Matrix and Roadshow fans? Click click the join button and become a channel member here. You become a channel member, you get access to um, uh, live streams. We're actually going to have a uh, members live stream next Saturday, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So come out and support us by clicking the join button and become a channel member today. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.